Hi everyone, so I challenged myself to not only finish a hybrid 2D 3D game in one month using Unreal Engine, but to actually understand what makes a good 2D 3D hybrid art style, so you can do it using any engine. Contrary to expectation, Unreal Engine has been used to make some fantastic 2D 3D hybrid games like Octopath Traveler 1 and 2, Triangle Strategy, Level Life, and I have spent a good amount of time with countless hours trying to understand how it works so we can achieve it using any engine. In this video we are going to talk about what really makes a good 2D 3D hybrid art style, how to do it, what pitfalls to avoid that actually break the coherence of the two different art styles, besides what tools and features Unreal Engine provide for you to help you, and why this technique apply to any engine of your choice. And stick around to the end of the video where we are going to explain when it's better to use 3D and when it's better to use 2D assets in your level. And as a bonus, let me show you at the end why do we have Zoro and the cat in our game. So what's an HD 2D game? It's games that use a hybrid of 2D and 3D art style. It mixes the nostalgia of old pixel art games with the modern technology. Once upon a time, I felt my game art style sucked so hard. So I decided to convert the art style to an HD 2D art style. And here how it went. At first, I heard something about creating a post-processing effect that makes the whole thing look pixelized. Well, it sucked. Hi, I am late. First pitfall, never use pixelizing post-processing effects to make HD 2D game. Why don't we just create some models and slap some pixel texture on it? Well, it does not work because high-res UVs means I can draw pixelized textures and even if you manage to make it look kind of pixelized, the pixel count is not the same between models, so the art don't look coherent. So we need to actually make the models pixel perfect. Don't you ever, ever make a model that it's not pixel perfect, but wait, what's pixel perfect model? Basically, your model will respect pixel grid of your choice. Shout out to more more tutorials. I hope you are, I am saying your name correctly. So the first step is a hidden phase. You need to make your assets pixel perfect. Yes. And don't be afraid to experiment with your art style and game direction in this phase. Use reference, respect color theories, think of the identity of the level. Like for me it's an old prison, underground and it's dirty and inhuman to live in. Yet the prisoners are trying their best to make it habitable with what little they have. The real question, are we going to use the unlit or the lit material? By the way, here how it looks with the unlit material. For the unlit material, positive points, draw your own light and shadows. Negative points, you have to do it for each sprite. Changing light direction is a lot of work. No dynamic lighting and shadows. Lit material, positive points, easy to implement. No redrawing every sprite. Dynamic lighting and shadows. Negative, it may break the HD 2D fields and needs a lot of experiment with lighting. The solution, by the creator of Octopath Traveler, Combine them. Some models are lit and others are unlit and they are using lighting in the level in a way that complement both type of materials. So lit and unlit materials work in harmony together. Nice. We can use lit and unlit materials or even a mix between them. What should we focus on? We want to focus on that nostalgia of old pixel games with some new breadth of modern technology like Lumen, Nanite and post-processing effects and VFX either with Niagara or pixel art VFX to give it that HD 2D feel. And this is how it looks only with an HDRI Lumen. It's supposed to be a prison at night and I think it really captured the feeling. We are going to use more lighting and some VFX pixel art like the fire, the smokes and the bubbly things on the cooking pots. So go nuts with it and with the post-processing. I want some flowers and trees. We can use foliage, just don't go for the hyper-realistic ones. And of course we need some fireflies. Fireflies, I love them. They are like flying bubbly lights. So it's actually encouraged to use all modern technology to achieve HD 2D feels. By the way, don't you think that the ground is to clean for a prison? Yeah, so using quick same mega scans, uh, let's add some decals because imperfections make perfections in 3D world. We added some puddles of water, some dirt and small rocks. We even added some cracks in the walls. And voila! Even Quixel Megascans can be used to fill the world. So, in computer graphics imperfection make perfection, does that mean, if I became imperfect and make mistakes I would be more human? Okay, for HD 2D game, it does not have so much 2D elements. Yes, because 3D assets add depth to the world, then we are going to use 2D and 2.5D sprites with defo material to add so much life and details to the world. And look at that. We even have a cat because a game with no cat is not a game in the Okoji. That's so cute. I love all animals. That actually adds so much details and life to the world. Now for the final step, let's add NPCs and some sound effects. Wait, 
is that Zoro. He is so lost. He came to our world. Would he affect the story? Ooh. He's going to have a run in the story. But what is it? That's a secret to know in the future. We have a wizard and a happy chef and like a Dominic guards and some mysterious angry men. And cats, of course. We apply the same steps to the cells and voila. Here are some other ideas that I didn't use but can be used. You can create normal maps to your 2D sprites to make sprites react better to lights. Attach a light point to the character. Don't be afraid to distort objects and models so they look only correct in the camera view. Always draw sprites from the camera view. As a summary, what to do? Make your model pixel perfect. You can use lit and unlit materials or mix between them. Use modern technology like Lumen, Niagara, post-processing, foliage, and Megascan. Add life and details to the world with 2D and 2.5D sprites. Create normal maps for your 2D sprites. One light attached to the player. Distort models so they look only correct from the camera view. What to avoid? Pixelizing post-processing effect to make HD 2D game. Drawing sprites in front view and not from the camera or player perspective. Not respecting color theories. Not using references and not experimenting enough while you're creating your level. Well, I learned a lot, but when to use 3D object and when to use 2D sprites. As a general rule of thumb, 3D is used mostly in large objects and ground to give sense of depth. You can think of it as the large pillars of your level is in 3D and details are in 2D. It's what added life and details to the world. Was Unreal Engine helpful? Yes, because using Lumen, Megascans, post-processing are all in a press of a button, which make life a lot easier. But wait, didn't you say all this can be done in any engine? Well, yes, because all these steps are general rules, so they can be applied in any engine. Now, let's dive to gameplay in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Hey, add me as NPC. No, I won't. Why, why would I? You are not a player. But why not, please?